Hey everyone people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we continue our episode how to build a cool landing page for a website and you don't need to have any coding skills, any tech skills. So actually this video is going to be good for novices uh, and especially for uh, those people who don't have any time to prepare a cool, to make a cool design of a website for your product or even company. So check this video till the end, as always I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your shares, and let's get down to our work just directly right now. So first of all, let's start from what is UKIT. Actually, it's a website builder which is used to launch and manage small business websites and other types of projects for personal and commercial use. So the system has gained worldwide popularity due to its amazing simplicity that does not compromise with the quality and professional web design approach. So this is an indispensable solution for new buys and web design pros willing to establish professional web presence for their businesses. So this website builder will work great for all representatives of small and medium businesses who lack web design experience and don't wish to pay enormous sums of money to web studios. And of course, first, I would say the key point of UKIT is actually you don't have to master programming basics to work with UKIT. So actually, the system is simple and flexible and completes around 70% of work on its own. So there are no layout design, style charts, Photoshop and other daily issues. Most web developers in counter just right here yep so frequent updates make this uh, service uh, more convenient and functional um, before you actually proceed to the website development process, you need to sign up the platform, of course. Fortunately, the website builder provides easy, fast and hassle-free registration procedure. So it's possible to choose from two design options here. So the first one implies the use of social accounts uh, if you already have the one. Yep. So I mean Facebook, Google, LinkedIn and others. So um, the second registration option is to fill out the sign up form providing your email and password info. And of course, upon the complexion of this tab, you will be offered to confirm the registration uh, by activating the link available in the email address. Yeah. And right after that, you will be directed to the template selection page to pick one of the designs just listed right here. And actually, we will do the same because I've just registered an account. Let's check actually how many templates here we have. Uh, this is um, the list of these templates and actually uh, just right here, yep, we have many categories and if you would like to work um, uh, to make a specific website or even a landing page for your product, so you will find just right here, for example, animals, uh, business and finance, construction, design, education and training, yep, so there are many of them, so you may start your search just directly from these categories or just to play around with all this stuff. So let's check the preview of this simple template. Yep. And here we may just observe the preview. And to be honest, I adore the preview because preview gives you the opportunity to observe is this um, actually template cool or not. And uh, one thing that I like, just right here, because we have adaptive designs, yep. This is uh, the design for the desktop version, and here we have the tablet, yep. We have two modes, I would say, you can uh, just uh, take a look in horizontal mode and vertically, yep. So, nothing, I would say, special, but it's important, because nowadays, uh, actually, uh, we are holding uh, our tablets and smartphones in our arms 24 hours, be seven. So it's, to be honest, really important. You need to have uh, nowadays um, the adaptive design of uh, your website or even a landing page. So don't hesitate. It. Uh, and you can take a look how it looks like. Um, to be honest, on Wix, uh, there are two ways. Uh, if I remember of the adaptive designs but here we have the uh, opportunity just to play around with one two three four five five modes five versions yeah and uh, let's uh, choose uh, this design if you don't like if you don't want to choose this design you may view next but in this video I present my aim to show you all how it works and what it is actually you kid is what it has uh, the next one um, we need to put a domain name but I usually put it after um, the finishing process of um, a design of a website or even a landing page so uh, 
my advice for you just to make it as a last uh, step yep okay and continue so I'm um, actually this is uh, the editor this is that place that where all the magic begins uh, and actually here we have uh, widgets we have blocks but first of all you need to know how to play around with all the stuff uh, so let's take a look just right here. We have four uh, main tools, I would say, side pages, builder, design and adapted site version. Let's start from the first one, from the side pages. Uh, so as you understand, this um, tool is responsible for the pages layout, for the pages. So actually right here you can add pages, delete pages, um, the existing ones, of course. Uh, you can rename these uh, pages and simply navigate between these pages. Uh, so actually that's how it works. Uh, the next one is actually a builder, yep, and builder is divided into two parts, uh, into widgets and blocks. So basically you may play around with all these blocks, yep, what we have right here, all the content. And the next one, of course, widgets. So widgets are basic, uh, we have structure, content, uh, online store, outer, media, contents social icons yep and how do you need to work with it actually you simply drag each element uh, at that place where you see it's necessary so basically i just added uh, three buttons three icons of social network and you can simply to add a link to this uh to your social um pages yep account and that's how it works if you would like to you may add a twitter but here we have twitter okay it's not good no, we can add a video for example let it be just right here yep um for example we can add what we have to add we may add the gallery just right here yep so all the results they basically are visible in online form so you see how it works and actually the widget what is widget so these are the elements which are visible right here yep and with the help of these elements we actually uh, build our landing page or uh, a website it's not a sections it's not a blog um, these are this is actually the content these elements help you to um to look pictures uh, to understand what is actually in the gallery uh to actually all the elements that these are the widgets uh so basically you need to play around with all this stuff and the next one we have right here is a design so basically de the design tool is responsible for the design of the whole page it means that you may um create your personal custom scheme or um, change the colors you may just right here play around with the side background you may choose uh, uh, the other uh, color for example or you may add the image as a background or you may play around with um, I would say right here it will be visible uh, with um, with the fonts yeah uh, because you know for me it's convenient to work with the fonts uh, because we see the changes in the whole, um, I would say, website. Yep, not only in one section, but in the whole structure of a website. So, uh, the design section, uh, the design mode or the design tool is responsible, of course, uh, for the uh, design of uh, the landing page or a website. And, of course, the last one, uh, the same, the version. So you may play around to look, uh, to take a look. Yep, how it looks like on the desktop and the tablet one. If you see that right here, you don't like it, so you may uh, divide it. Yep, um, just play around with all this stuff. Take a look how it will be in tablet version, just to play around, and of course in mobile uh, version. Yep, just to see how it uh, looks like and it's important I would say yeah this is right here and we have a gallery so uh, actually we may hide on a mobile device for example and uh, it won't be visible so actually it depends on yep uh, 
Um, the next one, what I would love to um, add, uh, let's take a look at the desktop version once once again. Yep, and here I would love uh, I would love to play around uh, with here what I added. Yep, but I would love to delete it. Yep, to uh, to turn back um, all of the website how it was. And to be honest, I would love you to show and to tell you what should be in basic landing page, what should be uh, in a website. So the basics, what should be in each uh, landing page in a website. First of all, let's start from uh, the header. Uh, should be a header, should be a subheader, and subheader maybe as a slogan or just, I don't know, whatever you would like to uh, write, it should be, uh, of course, with the context. Uh, the next one, I prefer to put a logo. Here we have the icon, of course, it depends on, uh, but should be a logo. If you have the logo, please, you may try uh, just to take a look, upload from your desktop, how it would look like on the template, uh, or just to make your personal one logo. Yep. Uh, the next one, what should be? Uh, here we don't have CD bottom. Here we uh, don't have, I would say, face section. So basically, we have this face section. It's just like white section with the slogan and with a header. Yep. Uh, what should be um, more? I would love to tell you that uh, all the content should be in high quality, of course. All the images, all of the videos, and um, maybe music, yep, all should be in high quality because you need to make your visitor your potential client. And the last one, of course, what I would love to add is that right here, yep, in all the website and all the landed page should be uh, interesting text content, text blocks, but please don't make them uh, too large, I would say, because you it will be boring yeah uh, you are not writing a novel so uh, all the content should be short uh, tasty in high quality and interesting yeah and of course it should reflect uh, your service that you provide or uh, the project so basically that it is and then, of course, you may ask me for what is good for you yep, to use this uh, you get service. I can say that uh, this service is convenient. This is simple, uh, user-friendly website builder, and it initially targets small and mid-sized business owners. So its feature set is really powerful to come up to the needs of each user who has an intention to start an effectively managed professional project. So what matters most? Most, uh, is that the website builder does not require any coding and design skills. I told you, I proved you because here you have perfect website builder, you have cool templates and you may add your personal portfolio images and that's how you may play around. So everyone can master the intuitive visual interface to be able to, um, I would say, design projects uh, out of ready-made widgets and content blocks. So um, um, the website builder comes with an extensive collection of uh, fully customizable design tailor-made for specific commercial and non-commercial needs. Yeah, and due to the integrated drag and drop functionality, which I uh, shown you, yeah, it's possible to start projects for uh, any complexity level without any coding proficiency at all. It means that you may uh, create a cool large website with many pages. Uh, just in one hour and of course you can create a landed page in 15 minutes yep so these are only some of the most obvious reasons that's why I decided to create this uh, I would say reviewing tutorial video uh, for you guys in my channel so that's all to be honest and uh, I'm waiting for your likes I'm waiting for your shares uh, if you have any questions please write them in comments because I always uh, try to give you the answer but not just like in the comment but in the next video episode yeah but who knows maybe your question 
uh, will be in my uh, video episode. So uh, I wish you good luck, good vibes with you kid, of course, with uh, my video episode. Thank you for your attention and I guess that we will see each other very soon in my videos. And if you haven't seen my videos yet, uh, my previous videos, don't hesitate that. Uh, watch them on my YouTube channel and thank you for your attention and bye.